How is it to go one night out there, everybody? This is Jordan Jones. Now, I'd like to show you guys my top 10 worst water levels in Mario games. We know I love water levels in video games, and we know they're awesome. I just want to talk about the 10 worst water levels in Mario games, at least. This will be just from the Mario franchise only. <clears throat> so, for this top 10. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. And without further ado, let's-a go. Number 10 on my list has to be World 4-4 from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. The reason why this one's number 10 on my list is because it's not that bad, but it does have some annoying parts in it. Like, for example, you have um, the bloopers, which are the worst enemies in 2D Mario games. And you have the fish that follow you, so that's what makes this level kind of on top, kind of on number, at the number 10 list. And you have the fish that follow you, and those fish are almost impossible to avoid. And you have the bloopers. Uh, this one can be bad if you don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> I mean, it's not it's not horrible or anything, because because this is gonna be the only level from New Super Mario Bros. Wii on this list. Um, so, this water level, you basically have bloopers that will come right in your face. And they are annoying. They are annoying as heck. And then, they will come near you. And you have to really watch out for them, or else if you don't, you'll get hit. So, but, it's not that bad. Like I've already said, not an extreme bad level, but... <laughs> it's still not quite as bad as the future ones you're gonna see on this list. Because these... And plus, I hate bloopers. They're even worse than the bloopers in Mario Kart. And that's really all I have to say about this level. So now moving on. Number nine on my list has to be Shish Kebab Tower because this one has lots of drama. Because I don't remember any underwater section of this, but it reminds me of an underwater level. So I'll include this level. I'll include this level. And you have things going on like crazy. It's super difficult. Because New Super Luigi U happens to be the second hardest Mario game of existence next to the lost levels. And it's just extremely difficult. That's all I have to say about this level. So now moving on. Number eight on my list has to be Cheap Chomp Chase from New Super Luigi U. The reason why this one's number eight is because you see lots of madness in this level. But you can grab a star power to help you out with the start. Thank goodness. And that makes the first part of it a heck of a lot easier. But the, the controls in this game, you feel like you're slipping and sliding all over the place. And you have the cheap chomp that will follow you every once in a while. And these enemies are really, really annoying. That's why it's number eight on my list. I about would put this higher on the list if it had, if you, if you did not have that star power. But you can get eaten. You, you can get eaten by those guys. And it's not good. And 
There we go. That's all to say about this level. So now moving on. Number seven on my list is Starcoin Deep Dive from New Super Luigi U. So this one is Absolute Devil. It can be Devil if you don't know what you're doing, but because you have a cheap chomp following you from behind, and you have some annoying fish, and you have lots of annoying things here, like. This game is the second hardest Mario game of existence next to Super Mario The Lost Levels. So, this can be super duper difficult if you don't know what you're doing. But if you do know what you're doing, this is not that hard to beat this level right here. So this level's probably not too hard of a level for Superstar Road. But it's actually slightly easier than the Swing For Your Life from New Super Mario Bros. U. Although this game's a lot more difficult than New Super Mario Bros. U. And... It's just crazy. And that's all I have to say about this level, so now moving on. Number 6 on my list has to be World 4-5 from New Super Mario Bros. 2. The reason why... It's because this one has the annoying cheap chomp I've talked about several times, and you know he is a butthole. Excuse me, but Fire Flower really helps at least, so it's not... Is this the worst one yet? Definitely not the worst. But, but we'll talk about the worst when we get to the worst. So, um, this one's actually, um... Um, the worst thing about this one is that you have to watch out for cheap chomps. But thankfully, if you have the Fire Flower, it does help out a lot. So the level is still an easy level, at least. That's it. But it's also really annoying. Because of those cheap chomps. And that's the reason why it's so annoying. Is the cheap chomps are unpredictable. And I hate how unpredictable the cheap chomps can be. And stuff like that. I was lucky that time he did not even get near me. And this one did get near me. And that's really all I have to say about this level. So now moving on. Number five on my list happens to be Dragon Nail Depths from New Super Luigi U. So we have a lot of stuff that was from New Super Luigi U in this video. Because it has the worst water levels ever. And this one right here. Extremely annoying. I hate it. So, what's annoying about this one is you get multiple Dragon Eels, and they're unpredictable. And I've died several times to how unpredictable they can be. And it's random each time, or not they get in your way, so they can't learn a pattern. And it's just, and it sucks, and it's, Ugh. That's all I have to say about this level, so now I'm moving on. Number four on my list is Larry's Trigger Happy Castle from New Super Luigi U. So we had a lot from New Super Luigi U. And that was no big surprise to have a lot from this game because this game has the worst water levels ever. And this one even has a lot of bull bills. And, you, and it's very easy to slip up. Then once you go underwater, you get torpedo tests that are annoying like heck. And these are just so annoying. I hate this level with a passion. That's how annoying this is. That's why it's number four.
And then this part's annoying too. You have a big King Bill going by. But the easiest part is actually the boss with Larry. Because the boss with Larry isn't that difficult. Because the boss with Larry is just the same strategy like you used to New Super Mario Bros. U against Larry. He's just a basic fight. Like, he's just a basic fight. You just gotta do this, and you just gotta learn when to do this. That's all you gotta do. Not too hard. Simple, simple. That's all I have to say about this level, so now moving on. Number three on my list is one of my downloaded levels called King Koopa's Castle in um, Super Mario Maker 2. This is number three on my list for the, my top ten worst water levels. Because this water level doesn't do much. I mean, it looks nice. Graphically, it does. I mean, it just doesn't do much. And this one doesn't do much. And you have the annoying bonefish right there. They're coming at you. Plus, those guys are annoying too when they try to eat at you. So, they're really... And you have Boom Boom and Pom Pom you have to watch out for underwater. And fighting them with water physics is... Uh, is definitely more annoying to do and that's all I have to say about this level so now I'm moving on number two on my list happens to be can the eel come out to play from Super Mario 64 what makes this so annoying is because the swim the swimming controls in Super Mario 64 are just so glitchy like Like, um, I know some people like, um, the controls in Super Mario 64, but to me it makes me feel like I'm slipping sliding all over the place. And the worst thing about this one is that you have to go up here to refill your air first. That's why it's the second worst water level ever. And plus, Jolly Roger Bay is just annoying to play. But if you can grab that star on the back of him, great. If not, see, I suck so bad at this game. Because I never really got interested in this game anyway. And I suck so bad at this game. Because I don't really like Super Mario 64 that much. Um, because of... They can... And that's... And now we'll talk about the worst water level ever from Mario history. And this will be no surprise when it comes, so here we go. Alright guys, you've guessed it right. Swim for your life from New Super Mario Bros. U. Absolutely has to be number one. Why, this is the worst. You see all kinds of madness in this level. Um, and it, it was not good. This level is not good. Um, this level is the worst ever. It's the worst Mario level ever. Like, it's not good. It is not fun to play. 
because you have lots of thing, urchins and other fish blocking your path. You have a cheap chomp coming from behind. And this water level has everything that's bad. Even a veteran like me, who's really good at the game, can die easily in this level. And that's all to say. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like on this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Then click on the bell right beside me. No fighter time my FBS come out. Have a good one. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.